Oh, I love being able to respond to the novice from New York. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for stating the obvious that political lawfare is in fact election interference. That's what we're seeing with the sham Alvin Bragg trial. Thank you also to the novice freshman member for New York, highlighting that withholding military aid to an ally for a political purpose, just like Joe Biden is doing to Israel. Always grateful for you stepping in it. Mr. Costello, in your opening statement, you said that in the over 50 years serving as a lawyer, you quote, have never seen the types of politically motivated cases that have been brought in this presidential election season. These political cases are being used as a weapon of war to damage, defeat, or impede political adversaries and their allies. Instead of political warfare, it is lawfare, a cancer upon our collective judicial system. I want to begin with Alvin Bragg's weaponized sham trial in New York. Isn't it true that in Alvin Bragg's campaign for Manhattan DA, Bragg specifically ran on going after President Donald Trump? That is true. Isn't it true that Bragg's predecessor, Cy Vance, declined to prosecute President Trump? That is true. And the FEC also did not prosecute President Trump? That is true. And the DOJ did not prosecute President Trump in this case? The DOJ referring to the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District? Correct. Absolutely true. And one of the reasons the Southern District of New York turned down this case was because the supposed star witness, according to Alvin Bragg, Michael Cohen, was totally, quote, unworthy of belief. Isn't that true? Without a doubt. This is the same Michael Cohen who pled guilty to seven counts in an indictment that had absolutely nothing to do with President Trump and actually predated the first time he met President Trump, correct? Absolutely true. And in fact, this is the same Michael Cohen who perjured himself to Congress. Isn't that true? Yes. In fact, when called as a witness in this sham trial, Cohen was asked directly if he was honest during his testimony to Congress. He said no, admitting perjury. But it's not just Bragg's case that is a total sham and illegal political lawfare going after Joe Biden's top political opponent, Donald Trump. This rot goes deep all the way up to the top in the Oval Office. Because when Congress referred this admission of Cohen's perjury to Joe Biden's DOJ, isn't it true that the DOJ has refused to prosecute? That is true. Isn't it correct that Michael Colangelo, who was the third highest ranking official in Biden's DOJ, was transferred to Bragg's office to run this weaponized prosecution of President Trump? Isn't that true? Not only true, but it's unheard of. Unheard of. It's a disgrace. Do you agree that this weaponization of lawfare goes straight to the top with the purpose of helping Joe Biden's failing presidential campaign? The circumstantial evidence definitely supports that. And the unconstitutional gag order on President Trump from New York Judge Merchant is unprecedented lawfare. <coughs> as far as I know, absolutely. And let's go to the daughter of the judge. Isn't it true that she is raising millions of dollars off of this sham case? Well, I have to say I've read that in the media. I don't know it of my own knowledge. It is true. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> one additional question. I want to talk about the rigged an unprecedented jury selection process. Isn't it true that Bragg's team asked the jurors if they followed Trump on social media? Yes. And isn't it true that they did not ask any of the potential jurors if they followed Biden on social media? Or Michael Cohen. Or Michael yes. Cohen. Yeah. And isn't it true that 87% of the jurors said they voted for Joe Biden? That's true. Is this unprecedented and lawfared jury shopping? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Political lawfare for the purpose of election interference to go after Donald Trump. Do you agree? Totally. This is one of the reasons that Trump's polls continue to skyrocket. And it's why President Trump will win in 2024 to end the illegal and warped weaponization of the justice system. Because if they can illegally go after Trump, they can go after anyone. I yield back.